Hey, what's up? Pete's Loving Dart here. Pop OS has always been one of my favorite distros, and it's been my go-to recommendation for Linux newbies for a while now. As a matter of fact, I made a video back in 2019 talking about how good it is, and I called it in that video Ubuntu Done Right. And I still think it's Ubuntu Done Right, but please don't watch that video. It's bad. I'm probably going to unlist it. So, when Cosmic got announced, I was very excited for it, and it's here. Let's go. Let's start with the benefits, and before it's even installed, we have our first benefit, and that is its installer. No, it does not use Ubiquity like other Ubuntu-based distros do. It has its own custom installer, which is very simple, even for a computer novice to understand, and it's very fast. It took me only 4 minutes to go through the entire install process in a virtual machine while taking footage for this video. Once it's installed, right off the bat when you boot into Pop OS, you can notice another benefit of it, and that is System Deboot. While System Deboot isn't quite as customizable as Grub is, it's about twice as fast as boot speed in other Grub Linux distros. Like seriously, this thing will boot instantly on pretty much any modern computer. It's awesome. There's also a welcome screen on your first boot which helps you set up, you know, little customizations and stuff, but mo a lot of distros have that now. Now let's talk about package management. Yes, Pop OS does just use standard apt, but it has some extra repos with some proprietary apps that can be a little bit harder to install, like Steam. And on top of that, it has some other repositories with things like more up-to-date drivers than Ubuntu. But because it is still Ubuntu-based, you get all the stability of a regular Ubuntu-based distro, and you don't need to grow a neckbeard in order to keep it running like an Arch system. On top of that, they probably have my second favorite software center only behind Linux Mint Software Center. While its software center does have some crashes here and there, it is generally a lot more stable than GNOME Software Center. It also has Flatpak support, but it doesn't do it in a way where it forces you to install Flatpaks, as it's very easy to install a non-Flatpak if one is available. These repos are a lot more convenient than they sound, as they, one, allow you to install things like Steam without going to a Steam website, and two, this allows more hardware to run on Pop OS faster before Ubuntu gets its hardware enablement kernels, for example. Also, you do just save time when you're trying to install things like Steam. For example, on regular Ubuntu, you have to go to the Steam website, click the download page, add the .dev file, then right-click it, open it with the Snap Store, which is essentially GNOME Software Center, but slower, and to be honest, it's borderline unusable for me, and then click install through that piece of garbage, and it will probably fail. Of course, you could also grab it and then install it through the terminal once you get the dev. But on Pop OS, you just open the software center, search Steam, and click install. So, not only will more modern hardware that just came out, brand new hardware, not only will that support Pop OS faster, but it's also easier to install things like Steam. And I think anyone who games can agree that Steam is an essential application for those pro Opera GX gamers. Now let's talk about the user interface. I was kind of disappointed when I heard that Pop OS wouldn't ship with GNOME 40, but Cosmic is probably the only thing that would keep me on an installation of GNOME 3.38. When it was announced, I expected it to just be GNOME with Dash Doc or something. And while it is technically GNOME with more extensions out of the box, I am not disappointed by it at all. You get a little panel on the bottom with all of your apps and three buttons that open up your applications, workspaces, and this awesome launcher that lets you launch applications and files and cycle between all the stuff. It's kind of like KRunner. And I really like how the workspaces work in Cosmic. In fact, I think I like it better than both GNOME 40 and GNOME 3.38. Finally, there's PopShell, which is basically a tiling window manager, but without the hassle of learning all of the tiling window manager's keybinds and configuring it and everything. But of course, if you like using keybinds with window managers, there are keybinds. But you can also do everything you can do with it with your mouse too, which makes it a little bit more beginner friendly compared to diving straight into i3 or something. I also like how it gives you a bit more customization than regular GNOME does out of the box through its settings app. For example, it lets you edit your theming and your general layout, although GNOME tweaks still need to be installed if you want to use a non-Pop OS GDK theme. But that's just scratching the iceberg on features. There are a lot of features I didn't cover in this video, such as hybrid graphics on laptops, 
a bunch of custom keyboard shortcuts to make navigation feel a little bit more at home for, I don't know, window manager users. A better .deb installer instead of using a bloated software center to install .debs. Firmware management in the settings app, and loads of other things. I feel like a lot of the Pop! OS features by themselves are just small and minor things that are nice, but wouldn't convince me to switch to a Linux distro. But Pop! OS has so many of these types of features that all work well together that it just turns Pop! OS into a wonderful experience that I recommend all Linux users, especially GNOME fans, to try out. And really the only people I dismiss from using this distro is people who despise GNOME. And even if you hate stock GNOME or Ubuntu's GNOME, give this experience a shot because I feel like a lot of people give bad names to GNOME due to how slow it is on Ubuntu. But on Pop! OS, it flies faster than you can make a sound. So, would I recommend Pop! OS? Definitely. It's probably the best Linux distro there is for a Linux beginner, as you get the stability of an Ubuntu base, but without the hassle of dealing with some of the more annoying things to deal with in the Linux world. Even my brother, who barely knows anything about Linux, was able to figure out how to use it without getting any help from me. And while I personally still use Fedora, mainly because I like its package manager, Pop! OS would be my go-to distro if Fedora didn't exist. So, I would highly recommend checking it out if you haven't already. So, that's the video. Thanks to Frank, Mario Scripsguard, Gene Peter, Sam Covet, and Mitchell Vantino for being patrons on Patreon. So check that out if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.